Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. Y'all, it is getting to that time of year. It is winter, which means it is cold. It's getting darker sooner and your hens may have stopped laying. So let's talk about the why and what we can maybe do to fix it. So let's hop into it. So the two biggest things that I see as a problem when it comes to hens laying, both with our chickens, ducks, and quail, is the fact that in the winter they will either stop laying completely or extremely slow down as the days get shorter. And then another problem of course I see is, especially with our hatching eggs, getting to the eggs soon enough because it gets so cold that the egg itself freezes and cracks its own shell. So a lot of times what happens with our hens is when the sun starts setting sooner and they get less light, they go into molt. So if we look at Raptor right here, she is in the middle of a really bad molt. She looks a little uh, rangy and that is because she has some blood and pin feathers coming in that she hasn't chewed the capsules off yet. When hens go into molt, their body resets and relaxes, and a lot of times, because of the stress of that, they will stop laying. She's sunbathing here with me, but if you look right here, those are new feathers coming into her body that have knocked the old feathers out. And they have that sheath over the feather as the blood supply recedes down, to the, down the feather that the hen either needs to remove herself or her flock mates will remove. And then after a molt and those pin feathers go away, the chicken goes back to looking normal. So the question when it comes to your hens is, should you continue to let them lay eggs or should you let them rest and recycle and take that time off in the winter to molt and naturally go into the flow of seasons? Let's talk about it. What are some of the benefits of letting your hen go into molt and take a break? For one, she's going to lay longer for you. So normally if you force a hen to continue laying through the winter, she has a limited amount of eggs in her body and you will run through them faster if you force her to continue laying through the winter. There's also questions when it comes down to con conditioning as well as energy resources as we get into winter because it's colder. And then also there's the argument of letting your hen go into the molt because it's the most natural for your animals. Now your other option is to make her continue laying throughout the winter. And the way we do that is through supplemental light and sometimes supplemental heat, depending on your breed that you're trying to get to lay, whether they're chickens or they are quail. So I personally let our hens that are chickens take a break through the winter. We don't expect them to lay, especially since they are free range chickens and they forage and it's just easier for them to take a break in the winter. Our quail, on the other hand, we put supplemental light on them and have them continue laying throughout the winter because we use them for eating as well as hatching eggs. 
Now we have Katornix quail, so adding supplemental heat isn't an issue, but there are certain types of quail that are more of a game bird quail that do require supplemental heat on top of supplemental light. So you're gonna wanna look into the species that you have and see what they need if you want them to continue laying through winter. Now let's talk about cracked eggs. It's oftentimes normal in the winter to find frozen eggs that have cracked through their shell. And a lot of times it just has to do with timing, knowing when your hens lay and getting the eggs out of the enclosure as soon as possible to save them so that they are viable if you want for hatching or for eating. Now I've seen some breeders where they will either keep their hens in an enclosed area that they can temperature control, or they will put heating pads in an enclosure that the hens choose to lay on. Both options are viable. You just wanna be careful of fire hazards, which is why you see a lot of breeders recommend that you do not keep heat lamps in any of your barns because heat lamps are one of the largest causes of barn fires. But anyway, I would love to hear y'all's thoughts and opinions. What do you prefer to do? Do you prefer that your hens lay throughout the year? Do you prefer giving them a break? How do you encourage your hens to lay if you do decide to make them lay through the winter? And what kind of tips and tricks do you have to increase your egg production in those times? I'd also love to hear what you think about this new video style. I am trying to be more vloggy for the season and add little snippets and kind of break up my talking with uh, cute little animal videos. So I would love to hear it. Do you like seeing that at the end, just at the beginning, split up somewhere in the middle? I don't know, please tell me, I need help. But anyway, and then I also hope you enjoyed some talk that isn't just rabbits because I know, especially when it is not a day when I am just posting every single day, I talk probably a little too much about rabbits and I'm trying to break up that monotony. So please do tell me what you think. But that's all I have for y'all today. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.